Well, this is the story on the front pages of almost every UK newspaper this morning. The, the interview that Prince Harry did with Tom Bradby last night on ITV ahead of the release of his book tomorrow. Um, many picking up on one line in particular in the interview, which lasted over an hour and a half last night, um, discusses the fallout from the Oprah interview that Harry and Meghan did back in March last year. It feels an awful long time ago now, given everything that's happened in between then. Um, at the time, the couple claimed that an unnamed family member made troubling comments about the skin colour of their unborn son during this interview. Um, in response to that, Tom Bradby asked Harry about it, saying, in the Oprah interview, you accused members of your family of racism. Coming back to this, Harry said, no, I didn't, adding the British press said that. Going on to say that there's a difference, he says, between racism and unconscious bias. So the paper's very much leading with that top line this morning about mm. that. It does seem like such a long time ago. They've obviously got another, another little one now. Um, one of the other uh, points that Harry's also been speaking about is the events surrounding his grandmother's death, um, the death of the Queen. Yes, a lot of this coming out during his interview with Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes, which aired overnight in the US. Uh, he's obviously doing all of these interviews mm. to promote his new book. Um, we're going to be seeing more interviews coming out this week as well, reportedly. Um, he said he wasn't invited on the plane to see the Queen when doctors had said that she was unwell. Harry and Meghan were both in the UK at the time. He also again started talking about these press briefings, which is the thing that he seems to be the most concerned about when I'm um, talking about what has come out in the book. Mm. Uh, lots of revelations coming out, even before the book were, has been published, at least, to, to Londoners and, and, and to the UK. Um, the Queen Consort is also coming up in a lot of the interviews, uh, in, especially in the one in, that you mentioned in the US overnight. Yes, this idea of royals and their relationships with the media, something that Harry is particularly concerned about when it comes to his stepmother, um, the Queen Consort, Camilla, saying, um, I even wanted Camilla to be happy. Maybe she would be less dangerous if she was happy. This is a quote from the book. When he was pressed on this, he explained that um, it's because of Camilla's need to rehabilitate her image in the press, uh, meaning that she forged relationships and that there was an open willingness on both sides to trade information. Uh, another statement that undoubtedly won't be good for his relationship with his wider family. And all of this, uh, ha the, the palace, I imagine, are aware um, they, they'll be seeing the newspapers and the articles and I'm sure their press office is very busy at the moment. Um, have we had any response from the palace or from anyone, any sort of commentary on all of this? Nothing from the palace. Um, today, uh, we know the Princess of Wales is marking her 41st birthday. It's understood that's going to be, you know, spent privately with the family uh, while they undergo everything that's happening in the media at the moment. We do have some snippets of this book because of the fact that it was released early by accident in Spain. It has also actually been sent out by accident. There's been a glitch on Amazon, which has meant that it's been sent out to many people, a friend of mine receiving hers yesterday in the post unexpectedly. But for the vast majority of us, we haven't had a chance to read this book for ourselves. So, you know, in the coming days, we are going to be hearing more undoubtedly from the contents of this book.